the second month of the beginner curriculum for five-year-olds three to 11 um, for their beginning warm-up, which would be 10 to 15 minutes long, to make sure to include reviewing their safety stops. And you can do jumps, straight jumps, scale jumps, tuck jumps. Um, be sure to include tuck egg rolls coming all the way up to their squat. Hold back, high five the floor, and reach forward. Um, in their pipes, you can do leg straining. Hands on the floor, lift one leg, both together, and push up to the boot. You can do the same thing in the straddle as well, one leg at a time, both at the same time, and lifting the booties. Uh, and the last thing to try and include are candlesticks, driving the toes up to the ceiling. Uh, hand placement depends on the class level. In their warm up, they're going to do their event warm ups. You can split them into three groups for the bars, beam, and floor warm up. For the bars, make sure they do their 10 just from the court. Last one pulled for 10 seconds. Do 10 shoulder shrugs. And then chin hold for 3 to 5 seconds. You can do two or three of these. And then on the side of the trampoline, they can do 10 squat ons. a three to five second up hold. For their beam warm up, they'll do, wait, pause oh. a second. To review for bar safety, make sure that they always land on their feet. If they feel like they need to come down, come down to their feet. If they feel like they're falling, come down to their feet. Also stress, do not let go of the bar. Do not switch your hands at any time. And if you need to make any hand adjustments, Come down to your feet first, trust your hands, and then go back up. For balance beam warm up, they'll do their walking straight on their tippy toes, tiny, tiny baby steps, focusing on stretching as tall as they can. Walking forwards, then walking sideways each way, make sure they're stressing the point, step, point, together, point, step, point, together. And then also walking backwards, walking the other way inside of the Backwards, focusing on stretching tall, taking the tiniest baby steps. And the last thing they can do for safety, some of you always coming down to your feet. If you feel like you're falling, come down to your feet. Always get down to your feet. Never reach for the wall or reach for a person. And the last thing they can do is their jump off safety stop. Jumping forward, jumping backwards, and jumping off sideways each way. Making sure to land in safety stop. For their floor warm up, they can work on going into a strong lunge. Do their tilt to levers. Depending on their level, they can do just a few of these or more of them if they're not up to teeter totters. After they've done some levers on each side, they can do a teeter totter on each leg. Then they can do donkey kick. About five of those. They can do their cartwheel step overs. Make sure aware of what foot's in front, what hand, where their hands go. Make sure they're spaced out so they don't kiss each other. And then their last thing, they can do their forward rolls on their own. They can move their hula hoop and do some forward step rolls. And then for these two weeks, the front circuit will be this. Down the beam, hold the ball. Walk down the beam, ball across the ball. Down. Next, they can do the bean back to their hula hoop, bean back in between their feet, and roll, <coughs> drop three bed. On the green mat, they can do hollow body holds. They can sit on the green mat, drop bean back, try and have their feet up 
and shoulders above the knee. Here we'll do a cartwheel drill. Make sure that you guys lunge. Hands down. All the way over. And all the way squat. If they're a little bit more too advanced, they can do the kick. Try and get over the elbow. And left here, they can do their spider walk up, hands down. Nice and tall. And the second circuit they'll, they'll do, insert on the vault. They'll do hands on. Jump the feet all the way down the beach. 